was always quite creative. I liked baking. All I ever wanted to do was be a home economics teacher. I became a home economics teacher. I had two years teaching various part-time positions. I taught in a prison for a month. I taught in a, a vocational training centre for a year and I realised that teaching home economics wasn't for me. So I worked in the UK then for six years for Sainsbury's. When I came back, I did the Ballymaloo course. It changed everything for me with regard to my view of food and the provenance of food and how much of a difference it makes to your experience of food to have really good quality ingredients. And that's really where the seeds of Dessert First was born. I realised that there was a niche market there for good quality homemade type desserts for restaurants and coffee shops. There's a huge move back to people wanting to know where their food is coming from and the provenance of the food is really, really important. People realise the importance of supporting their local businesses. If you spend money on Dessert First product, that money is kept in the local economy because the employees of Dessert First that have been supported by people who are buying Dessert First products are going out and spending their money locally as well. So they're supporting the local shops, they're supporting the furniture shop, the hairdressers, the chemist. We produce in a, a purpose-built unit. Everything we do is still small-scale production. We use traditional recipes, we use traditional methods. Things are still handmade. And all of our ingredients are natural ingredients that you would find in anybody's kitchen at home. It might be made in a slightly larger quantity than you'd make it yourself at home, but it's still made the old-fashioned way. One of my earliest memories is cooking with my Nana Kelly, making lemon biscuits with her in, in her kitchen. And the, the revelation that was actually producing something that tasted so delicious. At the moment, we're developing a new cookie, a new product line, which is a more healthy alternative to a lot of the offerings that are out there for school lunches and we're looking at something that's lower in fat, lower in sugar, um, contains a lot of oatmeal, so it's a good way for children to get their daily oats. Particularly in the food industry, there's a lot of compliance, food safety, health and safety, so I probably spend more time here than I would really like to. 